What's going on everybody, Ryan Panetti here. In today's video, I'm gonna explain to you how TikTok has dramatically changed my life. And before you just start thinking that there's no way, it's a dumb app for kids dancing, let me explain. Now let me start off by saying I've officially reached my one year mark on TikTok and I would have never guessed it's turned out the way it has. I was like many of you probably watching this YouTube thinking that TikTok's a joke, especially if you're a business person trying to make a career or a living off something professional. What exactly could kids even buy from you? What would having kid followers even do for you? The reality is once you dive into TikTok, you start seeing it's much more than that. And I'll get into analytics here and how I've monetized it so you can see what I'm talking about. But before I get into that, let me just tell you a little bit about my story with TikTok. So back in March of 2020, I was hanging out with my friend Kong. I've actually done a YouTube video with him. He's super hilarious. He's a real estate investor out of Washington. And Kong was pushing me to get on TikTok. At the time, he had about 100,000 followers. I had zero, and I had no intention of getting on it. And I gotta really thank him because after that event, he continued to follow up with me and he said, Ryan, you gotta get on TikTok. I'm telling you, it's the next big thing. It's gonna change your life. And even after him telling me that, I still didn't believe him. Well, after about a month of him nagging me, I finally decided to just make a video so he would stop annoying me. On top of that, we actually got locked down during the pandemic, so I had no excuse not to start making videos because I didn't really have much to do. If you go to my TikTok page and you scroll all the way down to those very first original videos, you're gonna see me doing some what I'll call weird stuff. I'm kind of ashamed of it. I should probably delete those videos, but I'll just leave them there for you so you guys can go check them out. <laughs> There's a lot of me attempting to do dances. There's a lot of me doing some weird shifting of clothes with my wife. It's really, really weird, so. Once again, there were really weird trends on TikTok that I was just doing because I thought they were really funny. And when I jumped on TikTok, it was nothing like the TikToks that you see today that I make. I was just trying to do these weird trends that all the other kids were doing. But after doing a bunch of those videos and realizing they weren't really my personality, I just started talking to the camera like I do now with YouTubes and tried to explain real estate and business concepts in a very concise, quick fashion. Many of my YouTube videos are 10, 15 minutes long and I can go really in-depth into a topic. On TikTok, I gotta be under a minute long. And so trying to create value and teach something in under a minute and a lot of times under 30 seconds is actually very difficult. And when I first started this a year ago, there weren't many people actually doing it. And so I started making videos similar to these YouTube ones. I would just pull up the phone, I'd make videos real quick, and then just post them to TikTok and see what happened. And sure enough, they actually started to get traction because there weren't many people making videos like that. And I went from zero to 100,000 followers within a couple of months. And since then, I've been growing like crazy and I've got over 600,000 followers today in just one year. And I didn't pay for any of those followers. There was no shout outs. There was none of that stuff. This was just all organic growth from posting a lot. And I'll tell you, it was a lot of posting and hard work. I would say I've made easily over 500 TikToks in the last year. Some have gone viral and gotten millions of views. Others have completely flopped and not done anything. And it's been a really fun ride and I actually really enjoy making TikToks now. And it's really cool when I get recognized at places because people always say they love my TikTok videos. Sometimes it's the YouTube videos or my Instagram, but more often than not, it's the TikToks. I was actually at the Chick-fil-A drive-through the other day and I go there quite a lot. And one of the people asked me, aren't you that famous guy on TikTok? And at that point I was kind of embarrassed, but uh, I said, I guess if that's, if that's what they say. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm known for now. And especially if you Google me, it says I'm a famous TikToker. So I guess that kind of is what it is at this point. They don't care that I've invested in real estate or that I played pro baseball or that, you know, I do a bunch of other things like, you know, own businesses, but if I'm gonna be known as a famous TikToker, I better embrace it. But if you've made it this far, obviously you now know my story for the last year on TikTok, but you're probably wondering, how has it actually benefited you having all these followers? Well, I'll say that it has definitely enhanced my other social media platforms. 
my YouTube grew really fast. My YouTube channel would not be where it is today without TikTok. I know for a fact that there are people who are jumping from TikTok to go subscribe on YouTube. In fact, if you're one of those people who followed me on TikTok first and that led you to subscribing to my YouTube channel, comment below. I wanna know truly what the impact of it is and those comments will help us figure that out. But besides YouTube, TikTok has also helped my Instagram grow like crazy. Before I started TikTok, I had about 15,000 Instagram followers and now I've got over 100,000. And the big reason for that is because I started posting my TikToks on IG Reels. My IG Reels have been getting tens of thousands of views, sometimes hundreds of thousands, even over a million. And they're just the same exact TikToks that I posted that day. I'm just now posting them on Instagram. But Instagram is pushing it like crazy because it's a new platform. And so in turn, TikTok has caused all of my social medias to explode in the last year. But on top of that, I've gotten to meet some really awesome people from TikTok. I first met Graham Stephan because he saw one of my TikToks. Now we're good friends here in Vegas and we've done videos together. I got to find out that the Greek freak Giannis, the two-time reigning MVP, follows me on TikTok and is a fan of me on TikTok. It seriously was the craziest thing I've ever heard when I saw that he was following me and that he commented that he's a fan of me. And then he sent me a DM on Instagram with his number and we're friends now. Who knows what kind of content we'll make. And if you got any ideas for that content, definitely comment below because I wanna do something epic with him. My point is none of these things happen unless I make those TikToks. I'm not friends with Graham, I'm not friends with Giannis, a whole bunch of other things don't happen that I don't even have time to explain for in this video. But if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I also signed a deal with Forbes. And so the deal with Forbes for sure would have never happened without TikTok because they told me point blank they saw my following on there. So now I'm partnered with one of the biggest organizations in the world when it comes to business, if not the biggest actually, and it's all because I decided to make TikToks. And on top of that, all of my existing businesses have had their best years ever because of all of the traffic social media is bringing them. My tax company, TrueBooks, is getting more clients than ever. We're getting more students at Future Flipper than ever. We're getting more realtors at Forever Home Realty than ever. And we're raising more money and getting more deals at Home Run Offer than ever. And I can attribute this to the traffic that TikTok has brought us. And so here's what I have to say about all of this. As it relates to you, if you're wondering if it's too late to start, it's not. I had zero followers this time a year ago. I was still a skeptic. I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to start it. Thought it was a bunch of little kids. If you're watching this video, you might be thinking the same thing. I'm telling you, it's not too late. You can definitely start. You can still go viral. You can build a massive following in just a year and it can completely change your life and your business. I still see people go viral every single day. And to give a quick plug to my course, if you do wanna take social media seriously, you wanna learn how I've built my TikTok, how I've built my podcast, how I've built my YouTube channel, my Instagram, definitely go check out my Social Media Influencer Academy. I will link to it below. It's helped many people start their influence and really get traction. But I just want everyone to know I'm super thankful for TikTok. It has been an amazing experience. And I'll tell you, another reason I love TikTok is because they give me a bunch of cool stuff. They've hooked me up with sponsors, they've sent me socks, they sent me swag, sweatshirts, all of this cool stuff. But none of it is cooler than what they actually sent me the other day and I haven't found a place that I wanna put this, but I'm really excited for it. So they actually sent me this super cool skateboard. I don't really even know what it is or what it's for, but I do know that they gave me a thing to hang it on a wall. So you're gonna probably see this on my podcast setup somewhere. I don't know, but this is why TikTok is so cool. Little things just like this. So I'm a big TikTok fan. You guys should jump on the bandwagon. They are not paying me to make this video. I just love their platform. It's changed my life. I think it can change yours. So if you like this video, do me a big favor, hit the like button, go subscribe, go follow me on TikTok and Instagram, go start your own TikTok, and I'll see you guys later.